Randy the Mobile Home Guy here again today. Today we're dealing with a DGAA furnace. It's a Coleman furnace. They call them different things now like Revolve or those kinds of things. But really the same furnace um, brand just has a few different things uh, uh, serial number wise. But uh, today we're going to go over replacing this uh, the combustion air motor, the inducer motor, the, the blend, uh, the fresh air intake motor, those different names for it here. But it's in here and you can kind of see it's really hard to get out. So we have to get this piece as one piece as the combustion air motor. So we're going to talk about how to get that out of there. Okay, so in order to get the combustion air motor out, which is inside of here, just attached to the pressure switch here, we have to actually come down here and we can see that it's uh, one piece. So this here piece right here is right in the middle of this plate here. So in order to get this off, we have to remove the valve, the, the burner assembly here, and this plate right here. And then this will kind of drop down a little bit. We can get the pipe off of there, pull it out the top, and then uh, put the new one in and do that reverse. So we'll look and see how that works. Okay, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna turn the power off here. So, and then we're gonna disconnect some wires here. These don't matter how they go back on. So this can be in the front or the back. It doesn't matter which way these here uh, wires go back on on the valve. Um, also, we're gonna disconnect these three wires. So two of them are white and one's yellow. The yellow is the, um, is the burner, I'm sorry, is the flame sensor. So we're gonna make sure that that one hooks up the same, back to yellow to yellow. These white ones here, that's the igniter. We don't care which way those get hooked back up again. So when we take those apart, that won't matter, but just make sure when you get it back together, the yellow goes back to yellow. So we'll disconnect these wires, and then we're gonna take the screws out here, one, two, three. On some of these valves, there's a red one, there's a, there's a, a screw back there. You have to get kind of a wrench to do that. So a 5 16 is what these these are. Also, we're going to have to get all these screws here, all the way around here. All of those are going to come out, and this one up here is about the hardest one to get. You're going to need a long one. All those are 5 16 Another thing, we're going to have to disconnect the wires here to, to the uh, motor. So those don't matter which way those go back on. It does matter, however, which side these pipes go back on, these little tubes here. So what I do, sometimes I'll get that wrong. If I put it back on, everything's working fine, but it's still doing the same. Switch those around, maybe you got those backwards, but it does matter which side these two go on, okay? So we'll do that and we'll move on. So we're gonna remove the valve one, the bracket here. So we're just going to disconnect all the screws here. Hopefully you're on the... Uh, Save those those screws. Save that. Hopefully you're on a flex line here because that makes it so you can go and just kind of set this over to the side. So um, we just pull straight out and we can set this over to the side. As a side note, that is the perfect time to make sure that your orifice there is clear. Look down inside there, make sure that's all cleared out. But we can set this over to the side. Next, we're going to want to take these two screws off. We're going to hold this plate really hard because attached to the back side of this, there's an igniter. And we want to be really careful that that igniter doesn't get hit because it'll break it if you do. Okay, so we're going to kind of pull straight out and kind of be up end a little bit. So the process is kind of hold it up like this a little bit. Don't kind of hit it down because we can see on the back side there, there's an igniter. And if we were just to touch that, it would break really easy. Why we got this out, we'll look at the rest of it here. This right here is the flame sensor. That's where that yellow wire connects to. Sometimes clean that when you have this opportunity. Take a little nail file or a little emery cloth and just kind of uh, clean that up. But uh, this flame sensor and the igniter, this is where the gas comes out, hits the spreader plate. This is the burner assembly. Okay, we'll set that to the side carefully. Now, we're gonna need to go and take all the screws off from around here. We'll look and see how that goes. So there's a seal right here around this. We can save that old seal. Maybe that might uh, be, um, somebody might have a problem with that, but we can resave that old seal if we're careful. So we can see now that this thing just kind of comes right off. And there's the seal. This we can set aside. We can see here's the seal. We're gonna wanna save the integrity of that. Sometimes that gets really, really, uh, 
really kind of tore up a little bit so that might be time to replace that but uh, look at it if it's good definitely use it so we can see now that we're going to take these two pipes off here I'll move this up a tiny bit so we can see a little better so we just pulled these tubes off here and now we can see that this comes down like that and we'll pull this pipe off here down just kind of comes right off okay and then we can see that this piece comes right out like that and inside of there you'll see there's a motor in there um, and on the other side of course there's a there's a a fan blade. So this is what we're replacing. This whole piece comes as one unit. It's its own part number. And then again, we'll just redo that exact same thing to put it back in. We'll put it the new one right back in here. As a note, um, sometimes if this is not working, um, maybe you've tested it with pressure. We want to see why that is. And sometimes I've actually had to wear a leaf was sitting right on there so it would kind of blow around a little bit and sometimes it worked sometimes it wasn't so this is a way to make sure that that's clear that that fan blade is on there but uh, if it's not working it's not working but that's a couple things to check but uh, be ready to replace this and then we just push it right back in there put it back together sometimes easier said than done okay then we're going to put the pipe back on okay and now, that'll push right back up inside of itself. Make sure you get the right part for that. We're gonna be very careful to get the seal back on there. We're gonna put this back on here. We're gonna push it up inside of there. Once, and make sure the seal's on there, of course. Screw that all back on. Put the plate back in there carefully, insert it in there, and then uh, put the, the valve back on there. Hopefully we're ready to go.